We had a motive too: our love of gossip. <clears throat> I mean, for news of the latest political and sporting events. Joe. But capturing the world outside was never going to be easy, and where better the Walthamstow dog track to see how it was done? So this is the first news moving camera. Yeah. It's not really a news; it's a first one of the first film cameras to actually, and they were used really to record events at that time because actually photographic news hadn't really been invented. What you're essentially saying is they would have filmed things that they knew were going to happen. Absolutely, coronations or main football matches, sometimes dog racing. Right. So it was, it was just historically recording events. So if they had the idea of cinema newsreels then. There's no reason why you couldn't film news yeah, of this. It, it takes a little bit of time because it's quite a heavy machine, so you'd have to stage that event. But it's only wood, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. It's wood and uh, some metal, and that's the difference of today, really. That's God, the difference we've made of a pig iron. Because <laughs> do- there's a dog race about to start. We've got about a minute before. Oh, we won't catch this race. Right? Well, let's try. So you take it to pieces. You take the camera, and I'll take the tripod. That's true. Right, come on. <laughs> Right, we'll have to get him for the second lap. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. <laughs> just, just balance it a bit, I'll have okay. a go. I'm going to roll anyway, because yeah. they're coming round that bit. Oh, it's too, it's too low. Too low. Up. No, Up. Too Hang on, I'm inside a little way. Lift it, lift it. Oh, 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 <laughs> there it go. I've made a very, very good 15-second <laughs> newsreel of that sign and the fence and your arm. Not good for spontaneous news gathering. Not so much shrink the world as shrink the camera with this one. So this is our new, later camera now, our newer camera. There you ah. go. Oh, that looks more like... Oh, God, it's still quite heavy. That's right. But it does have a handle. This now is a clockwork version. We've got two clockwork mechanisms. So it's like two clockwork batteries. That's right, two clockwork batteries. Then you've got the reflex to look through through that side, so... So I can actually look... Oh, that's actually through the lens. That's right. Is this the sort of camera that made them realise that they could make news rather than just film events because it's portable, handheld. So has this got actual film in it? Yes, that's got 200 feet of black and white film as it would have been in the day and and you're ready to go. Two minutes? Two minutes. So could I try and make a short pathy newsreel about this dog race? We could try. These cameras brought news to millions in the first half of the century. But with only 200 copies of a newsreel serving around 4,500 cinemas, it could be weeks before you knew what had happened at Walthamstow. Act normally. Now, how about a shot of the winning dog and his owner? Sort of smile and look victorious. Right, I'm out of film. Thank you very much. That's going to be a brilliant film, but it has shown me what the limitations were of the time. The first is, you don't get much film in the camera, two minutes, so you have to be very disciplined about what you shoot before it runs out. The other, of course, is there's no sound on location, so there are no interviews with people and there are no sound bites, which is why you get a lot of people going like that at the end of films, whether they've just won a dog race or sunk the Bismarck. So this first attempt to shrink the world through the news media was very much limited by the technology of the time. It's a start. Television changed everything. It introduced the radical idea that everyone could watch the same newsreel at the same time. It's 9.30 on a Monday night, and this studio will be going on air in about an hour. But I've been given a few minutes to bring you my history of television in three short clips. Hugh Jones. The first television programme broadcast was in 1936. There was only one channel, but two completely different formats. And because no one could decide which was best, they broadcast both formats, but on alternate weeks. Vision and sound are on. The station goes on the air. One format used a mechanical spinning disc to scan and capture the image. Everyone who appeared on this format, and I haven't made this up, had to wear blue and yellow makeup just so that their faces were visible on the screen. 
It was no wonder then that the other system, the one which was electronic, won out. Truth be said, TV got off to a shaky start. Events didn't help either. During the biggest news event of the century, the Second World War, all TV transmitters were switched off for the duration. The screens just went blank, and everyone cheerfully dusted off their old wirelesses. After the war, it would take a big event, a live event, to kickstart things again. That event was a decent bit of reality television from a big house. Windsor. The Queen's coronation in 1953 was the must-see event. In just two months, a million TV sets were sold. From here on, the nation was hooked on watching the world through the box in the corner. And with television's technological advances came a great variety of new programmes to watch.